So we are continuing our coverage of the shooting with Fox Sports' Alex Boyer. Alex, I know you had the chance to talk to some parents who were trying to get to their kids and definitely emotional. Yeah, absolutely, Heather. You know, I arrived here uh, with my photographer probably at about 10.45 a.m. and kind of ended up corralled in the same area where many of these parents were. At one point, we all ended up right here at the edge of the parking lot of the school. And, you know, many of them, of course, it felt the minutes felt like hours. And a lot of them told me as we were waiting for them to be allowed uh, to be reunified with their kiddos, they tell me that the first indication they got of something being wrong was actually from their own kid giving them a call saying that the school was on lockdown. The reunification will be done here on our premises at the school. As soon as the police department is done sweeping the rest of the school. Emotions were running high Friday morning as scared parents rushed to Wilmer Hutchins High School in Southeast Dallas after getting word a student had been shot in the leg by another student inside of a classroom. The eager parents were quickly stopped by police officers who set up a perimeter around the school. That's where I first met Sharice Johnson who got a call from her son saying the school was in lockdown. It just kind of instantly put me in a fluster. Once police determined the threat had been neutralized, school buses were brought in and parents were allowed to walk up to the school parking lot. There, they were met by school officials in red vests. We're part of the reunification team. Parents were eventually allowed to walk up to the school where three at a time, they were reunited with their kiddos. The cops have to escort you up. Then you have to fill out a car wait again, then go in and re be re reunited with your child. So it's a short process, but it felt like it was just long as long as they pick. One by one, the students walked out sharing their personal experiences during lockdown. I just sat there. I waited. We had to stay in there until they could tell us we could leave. What was it like during that time doing that? It was it was scary. Including Sharice Johnson's 16 year old son legend. I was happy. What was it like in there? It wasn't, I you know, scared for a little bit. So what did they tell you to do during lockdown? Uh, we ran to the girls' locker room, and we stayed in the girls' locker room. So we're just excited. We're happy. We're overjoyed. We're overwhelmed, honestly, just to put our hands on him and make sure that he's okay. It's a relief. A sentiment shared by every parent we talked to. Bullet can go anywhere, you know. A bullet don't have no name on it, so... That's why I hurry up and came on up here. You know, and a 10th grader who I spoke to briefly uh, tells me that what's the point of having these metal detectors and wands as well as the clear backpacks that they wear if a student is still able to somehow get a gun inside of the school? Of course, as Stephen Dial mentioned, that is something that is part of the ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, I can tell you that the reunification process here at the school has wrapped up. Counselors will be available again for students and staff on Monday.